Welcome to Tech Brothers with Damir. In this video, we are going to learn how to create scatter chart in SSRS report. We will prepare our query and then we will create a scatter chart and then we will play with different types of scatter charts such as scatter bubble chart, scatter 3D bubble and then finally we will display some data labels on those charts. So let's go to SSMS SQL Server Management Studio and see what we have we have select query here that's select region country and item sold from dbo total sale table we will use uh, these uh, information such as region as the uh, categories uh, and uh, country as series group and uh, item sold as values now go to the ssdt sql server data tools and then uh, click on the reports tab and uh, go to add a new item select the report here and provide the name so i'm going to call this one scatter chart add empty report will be created now click on the data sources right click add data source provide the name so we call this one ds sales data source sales and use shared data source reference we have created already shared data source called sales that's what we are going to use here if you are creating multiple reports from one database it's good idea to create a shared data source so in the deployment, you will be pro deploying only one data source that can be used for all those reports. Hit OK. Now go to the data set, add data set, provide the name. So let's call this one dset sales. Use the data set embedded in my report. Select the data source and then provide the query. Hit OK. Now in the design surface, right click, insert and go to chart. And uh, here we have those uh, different types of charts available. Here at the end, uh, we have uh, pretty much, uh, the last one is polar, but we have scatter here before end. Now, once you click there, you have three different scatter charts. Uh, one is simple scatter. The other one is bubble and then uh, 3D bubble. So we can use all of them uh, and uh, take a look. Uh, hit OK. Start with the very basic scatter chart bring that here and as you can see right now there are these are a b c d e f these are categories on the, and uh, here we have intervals and the values will be shown on this part so let's click on here and then add the values so in the values will be shown item sold so click that one and you can see that now it is chained so that's what we will see and next uh, go to category groups uh, and select uh, region so we see the regions on the bottom on x-axis and uh, let's preview the report we did not add the series group as of now now you can see that uh, the values are kind of dots here and they are scattered all around so for asia we see this uh, dot here for europe uh, we see this one here and for north america we see this uh, value right uh, here it's a good idea to uh, maybe display the actual data points or data values so we can see what exactly these values are. And uh, let me click here. And once you click here and say show data labels, this is going to show us uh, the actual data. So now we see that uh, the 10 is the total uh, or sum of uh, items uh, sold in the Asia region and uh, 19 is the uh, total item sold in the European region and then 11 is uh, sold in the North America. That's great But if we would like to add a series in the series group in that uh, that we can do then it will give us more detailed uh, chart So let's go and add and here we will be adding country Before that it was just given us the values for the categories and now it is going to go ahead and include the series group as well and now you see we have the category asia and the, uh, europe and the north america as a, our region and uh, these are this is called the categories and here you have series now so with the red you can see this one red is india so let me make it this one a little bigger actually so we can see better you can always uh, play with those and uh, change the font size and everything what you like so right now if you see here the red one is uh, India and uh, then we have Pakistan 3 so that 3 plus 7 that make it 10 so that's the total value we have Asia for Europe uh, if you see here we have Germany and then uh, for here blue one is uh, France so 17 and then for North America we have only 
uh, lamina that's the for United States of America so this is how you will uh, use uh, the scatter chart uh, to display the values uh, now let's go and change to the other types of scatter so change the chart type and in the under the scatter we will go to the bubble instead of those dots uh, now we will be representing these uh, points uh, with the bubbles uh, so preview the report now and now you can see that uh, they are coming in a different shapes uh, here so this is how it will look this is much better than the other one uh, and it, this kind of uh, here on the series you can see these are this is a square this is a germany is a uh, circle and uh, then we have india is a uh, diamond shape or, or uh, uh, this is still square but in a diamond shape and then you have triangle for pakistan so this is how you can change and and then we have x uh, um, for the uh, united states united states so the, these different uh, uh, symbols uh, will be used uh, for the bubble chart uh, then uh, if we would like to go ahead and change our type uh, to the final one that's called 3d bubble and if you select ok now you will be seeing the data in 3d so here you have Pakistan and here you have uh, uh, USA and here you have uh, India so that's how it will be in 3d so that's pretty much it for scatter chart um, you can always go ahead and play with these uh, and uh, change the size of uh, data labels, change the size of these uh, uh, bars and uh, so data points or whatever you call these bubbles and everything and uh, also change the background colors. So you can play anywhere you click, you will see the properties. Let's say we go back to the, let me go back here. Change chart type and uh, let's go to the very simple one. And now we are here, if you right click, uh, you can click here you can go to the properties vertical x properties uh, and uh, here you can uh, do all different type of things uh, so you can have label fonts and labels and everything you can play with these uh, properties and here you have a uh, uh, different properties on x-axis you have different properties you can name these ones uh, whatever you like uh, so thanks very much for watching this video and i will see you guys in the next video